Hi everyone! Today we're going to read The Witch's Vacation by Norman Bridwell. We know a witch. She lives next door. My brother and I have so much fun with her, we never like to go away from home. But last summer, we had to go to camp. We felt bad because the witch wasn't coming with us. It was raining when we got to camp. They gave us a tent number and we ran to find the tent. When we saw the tent, we were afraid to go inside. What a surprise! We all put on our bathing suits, but we couldn't go swimming. It was raining even harder now. Then I saw something funny. In just one spot on the beach, it was not raining at all. And someone was there waving at us. Guess who it was? The other kids thought our friend was funny looking. One of them made fun of her bathing suit. The witch just smiled and turned him into a terrific swimmer. But just for a minute, then she gave all the kids some water wings to play with. My brother built a sandcastle, but a big kid knocked it down. It didn't matter. The witch helped my brother build another sandcastle. We were so glad that our witch was with us again, but the next day she packed a picnic basket. But by the time we got to the picnic grounds, all the tables were taken. So we ate on the witch's picnic tablecloth. Then everyone hiked to Lookout Point. The big kids left us far behind. The witch just smiled. She said we would get to the top first. And we did. The witch helped make camping fun for everyone. One night, the cook couldn't get the campfire going. It looked as if we would not have a weenie roast that night. Our good old witch came to the rescue. Having a witch at camp makes a big difference. It was turning out to be a wonderful vacation. Our witch was there the day I wanted to go riding. There was just one horse left. The kids called her Old Nellie Bones. I called her Nellie the Great. And she was. When we wanted to go sailing, the witch found a sailboat. Just the right size for us. One day, I took out a rowboat so my brother could go fishing. He wasn't having much luck until the witch let him use her broom for a fishing pole. After a while, the witch went ashore to take a nap. We were having so much fun that we didn't see where we were going. Danger, no boats beyond this point. There was a waterfall ahead and we couldn't stop. We tried the witch's broom. It only works for witches. I wished for the witch as hard as I could. Back at camp, the witch woke up. She knew we were in trouble. But she didn't have her broom. How could she get to us in time? In a wink, she changed the water to ice and rushed to save us. Good old witch. We flew back to camp. The witch changed the ice back to water and we celebrated by having a swimming party. It was the best vacation ever thanks to our witch. Thanks everyone. See you tomorrow.